Welcome to France Vancat's interview. Our guest today is Iran's Foreign Minister Manoucher Motaki. Mr. Motaki, welcome to France 24. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being with you. Because of Iran's nuclear program, more sanctions are being imposed by the UN Security Council to your country. What is your response to this? They, they have decided in the past, for last five years, a different decision to punish Iran through the sanctions. And the first and the main question is, punishment for what? What was wrong in Iran? Maximum allegation from the other side is they have some questions. Not more, not more. For some ambiguities even, a country should not be punished. That's why this decision since last five years was and were on justice, baseless, and uh, um, uh, it was not based on law, rules, and regulations. And that's why we will definitely consider what they have done today. And they know very well we have taken our, st our step, and now they have taken their own step. What, what was our step? Tehran Declaration. In Tehran, according to the request of the American side, two important countries and two important member, non-permanent member of the Security Council tried for mediation. They came to Tehran, and they have reached to an agreement with Iran. And Tehran Declaration was a good base for cooperation, confidence building, which was exchanging fuel. In the case of the Tehran Declaration, uh, the international community didn't seem convinced by the proposals Iran had agreed with Turkey and Brazil. Um, do you think that Iran can now reassure the international community on the base of this proposal? 57 countries accepted this declaration, supported declaration, and recommended the other countries to support for implementation of this declaration. How do you say you have, we have not convinced the international community? And then the non-aligned, you know, non-aligned countries are about 120 countries. They have supported this declaration. Arab League supported this declaration. Most of the member of Security Council, which I met, the presidents, the prime ministers, and my counterparts, their consideration and their evaluation was, it was a successful step. Do you, what will be Tehran's next move now? This is what we are considering. For some questions, they are moving for sanction. It is unacceptable. And then they say why Iran does not follow. The, the, the resolutions. Minister, uh, the former head of the nuclear watchdog, Mohammed el Baradai, was saying that if Iran couldn't agree uh, a nuclear deal with the, uh, the UN, it was because of internal turmoil. What would you say to that? Allegation against Iran that Iran is moving for bomb is not correct because of our belief. We are Muslim. Two months ago, we had disarmament conference in Tehran. From 60 countries participated in this conference. And the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, sent a message to this conference officially. And in this message, he said, 
nuclear weapons, according to Islamic thought, is strongly prohibited. He used the term of haram, which is well known to the Muslim people. It means the most strongest prohibition is haram in Islam. And we have not changed our position since last several years in this regard. <clears throat> what is the deal? If Mr. Albert is mean to the deal is exchanging fuel, we have accepted. Who said we did not accept it? Do you fear, Minister, more sanctions by the EU in the future? This is a failed policy. It was failed policy from the beginning, and nowadays it is the same. And maybe they consider it as a face saving for themselves. And uh, I think uh, they, they had better chance. They had more convenient option. And that was using the opportunity of uh, the, the Tehran Declaration and trilateral agreement in Tehran. When Barack Obama came to power, he talked about America and clenching its fist, and everybody thought this was a hand of friendship given to Iran. Are you not today rejecting uh, the Americans' hand of friendship? With the United States, we are not talking with the persons. We are not talking with the parties. We, are, we should look to the policies. And the policies, a part is what they say, and the main part is what they do. Yes, Mr. Obama came in power in the United States through the slogan of change. He said he will bring a lot of change. The internal policy of the United States belongs to themselves. But external policy, what they have done? Nothing. In the Middle East, uh, Israel Prime Minister Mr. Netanyahu uh, says that the blockade of Gaza is to prevent Iran shipping weapons to Hamas. What do you say to this? Where those, show, those ships who were carrying the humanitarian assistance, Iranian, who were killed by the Israelis? Nowadays, everybody in the world, the public opinion, are very fully aware about what is going on. 1.5 million people are surrounded and blockaded for the last three years in receiving even food and medicines. Is it humanitarian? Is Iran, though, not supporting financially and giving arms to Hamas? Iran is not in the position to send arm to, to the Palestinian. But Palestinians have the right to find whatever they need to defend themselves and to continue their struggles. In the Middle East, many Arab nations are um, slightly worried about Iran's growing influence in the region. How could you calm these fears? Uh, this is artificial feeling, which usually some specific Western countries are trying to inject to our region. Since last 30 years, we always have been faced with such, you know, propaganda that the Arab countries are afraid from Iran. We are living together for thousands of years, you know. And uh, if you look to the history, to the background of Iran's behavior in that region, you will never find any aggression by Iranian against its neighboring countries. Finally, Minister, how do you characterize your relationship with the EU and with France? Since last five years, uh, Europe tried to, to have a new taste towards Iran. 
and they tried their best. They tried to, to create different barriers on the way of economic cooperation. And the reaction which they have received also is very clear. Uh, Europe, in compare with Asia, had 60% of our foreign turnover, our turnover of uh, trade and the economic cooperation, in compare with 40% which was belonged to, to Asia. Now, after five years, it is changed. 60% to Asia and 40% to Europe. It can come down if they continue their, their policies. It means there are different options. And without, without Europe, there is possibility for our activities. It depends to Europe. With France, we have some other additional factors also, culturally and politically. Uh, we have shown that time to time we have some potential to establish a serious consultation together, solve some problems if there are. And that shows the potential and capacity of two countries for further cooperation. Mr. Motaki, thank you. Our guest was uh, Iran's Foreign Minister, Manoucha Motaki. Please stay with us on France 24, the news next. <laughs>